going on YouTube, it's Clutch, and um, today I'm going to be showing you how to use the permissions plugin for your bucket server. First off, you're going to go to this page for the permissions plugin. You want to go to the latest, latest dev build, sorry about that, and go to full zip, and you want to download it. And then, you're going to want to go to the hero chat page, and download hero chat. Yes. Alright, so you're going to want to, you're going to, want to just make it smaller, and drag those out to your desktop. Okay. So, minimize that or exit out, whatever you want. So you're going to want to go in your server, open up your plugins folder, drag in here, chat. But, oh, so you should have gotten a little WinWAR file here, so you're going to want to open that for permissions. You want to take permissions.jar and rename me and drag those into your plugins folder. Next out the WinWAR file. Now, you should get a folder called rename me. What you're going to want to do, you're going to rename that the world that you have for your server. So you see, uh, the default thing is world. Whatever you name it, you'd put that like that. Now you're, you're going to start up your server. Let it load out and then exit out. Now what you're going to want to do, you're going to go back into your plugins. And you should get a new one called permissions. So what you're going to do, you're going to go to world and groups. Okay. So you should have all this stuff. But all you're going to want to do, you're going to go down here. And where it starts off saying groups, you're going to highlight it all down to like the last little hyphen thing, copy it, get exit out, go back, and you should be back in the plugins folder. You sh you're going to want to go into permissions, world, groups. You're going to want to paste that in. You see, you're going to want to save changes. So you're going to want to go back again and back again into the plugins folder. Go back into world and go into users. So you're going to want to start off on users and highlight right down to derp. So you're going to copy that. Go back, go back into permissions, go back into world, and go into users, and paste it. And you're going to want to save changes. Okay, so let's go into world, I'm going to groups. So, now to figure out how to use it. So, see default, it basically starts off, this is the default thing where you start off with. So, where's this default? Default trip. That basically means when you first join the server, you will be a default. If you want to put that to false and put yourself to join as a moderator, you can do that. So, build. That means build or not. Can you build? No. If you put that to true, you can build as a default. Okay, so where it says inheritance, say, let's see, on moderator. Inheritance. See that? Default. So, the permissions thing is food at bar. That basically means like, so if you don't know already about the plugin stuff, like if you're getting a plugin, it should have these things like, I don't know, admin dot poop. That whatever code it usually corresponds to a command that you can use. So if you put in like a thing like I don't know, admin dot poop, which is you poop on the server. It's weird, but then. So it says inheritance default. That means you don't have to type it in on their permissions. You already it's already like in there because you inherit it. It's pretty useful. Okay, so this little star. This little star is where you hold shift and press eight on your keyboard and you should get a little star. And the permissions. That means that that person or that person in that group, like admins, they have all permissions. Okay, now how to set up the colors. Since you have you should have hero chat. So what you're gonna wanna do, you wanna type at and then there's these color codes. I'll put a link for the color codes in the description. But let's say we do like at E. Okay, that's a color, but I don't know which one. So you're gonna put left bracket. And then say you want it to say default when you talk before your name. So you're gonna put default and then right bracket. And then if you want, you could put another one like at F. It might correspond back to your name, change your name a different color, or your text after you talk a different color. But I'm not totally sure because mine like glitchy. So yeah, you can keep. I think you keep it like that, or what I do, you put at F. That's another color. So for like your name or what you type. So we're gonna put build. Change that to true. Okay, we don't need our inheritance because we're default. Suffix. I um, leave that be. If unless you want to look it up and see what it means, because I actually have no idea, but I don't use it, and I per permission is perfectly fine. So that's what we. So we're gonna stop here. You can do the same thing with moderator, admin, 
Oh yes, yeah, so if you say you want to make another group above admin, you highlight the whole admin thing, you copy it, go here, go down up the thing, paste it, and then go to the beginning of the admin and space it over so it's you're gonna to want to check it, make sure it's evened out with everything else. Or get an error message. So now go to the S and you could change this so you want a super admin. You could do that. So yeah, we're gonna to want to X that out. Now users. Okay. These are all the people that I guess were core like made the plugin. So you don't need all this stuff. What you can do you can just get rid of Herpina, but you're gonna keep the number one Yeti because you're gonna start off from there. So say you wanna make yourself whatever you want. So you'd do your name or we'll just do my name. Christy Hybrid. And say this is where you put what group you want them to be when they log in. So say you want me to be a super admin. When you log in you'd be a super admin. But we'll just put this as I don't know. We'll put it as a nothing. Alright, that's basically it, I'd say. Let's go test it out. Let's go here, start up our server. If it doesn't put us as default, I might have done something wrong, and I'll check that if it doesn't work, but I'm pretty sure it does. Okay, let's start up Minecraft. Let's maximize it. Oh, god, two of them are running. That's weird. Alright. So let's see. Hi. See, yep. I guess the color code I put in was default. And then the text after is green. So, the yellow, that's, I guess, at E is yellow. No, and E. Remember when I invent permissions thing? Let's go change that right now. To change the color from, like, pink. So we're gonna, um, let's keep my Minecraft open. Close that our server. So you want to change the color of whatever. So say you want to change your default thing like the color of default admin, whatever, you know. Go back into world, groups, no, 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 that's wrong. Permissions, world, groups. Change that to at F. Okay. These are all just color codes that I've memorized because I was experimenting with them before. Alright. for a sec. Sorry about this. It's just rendering out. So, slash hi. Now it's a white. Remember before when I did add F for my name? That's why it's green. No, I mean it's white. So, let's change our name color. So go back to plugins, permissions, world, groups. Go to this and change add F. You can change it to any of the color codes. Add E, F, F, F1. Those are all different color codes. So you can X that out, go back, start up your server. In the users file, you can add all new people. Oh yeah, let me, I'll actually show you how to do that. So if you want to add new people to your users file and change them to different things, you'd copy this, copy, go down a space, and paste it, and you change the name there and put the group there in, or the group you want them to be in. Save that. Start your server. Okay. So. Alright. Oh. Darkness. Oh no. Hi. Now we can see that our name has changed colors. From before it was white, and now it's yellow. I think the text that comes after it will always be green. I don't think you, I think that might be the suffix that you can change that with. I thought about it and I guess that like suffix after yeah, so I think if you play around with the suffix you could change that. So yeah, that's about it guys. Um if you enjoyed give me a thumbs up and yeah, see you later.